Okay. So guys, so what I'm going to show you, and this is one of the things that one of the biggest questions I get is how do I increase engagement on people that start talking to me in, or don't talk to me in messenger? Like they come in from an ad, a messenger ad, and they haven't, they haven't started a conversation with us yet. Okay. So the, 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 the conversation really hasn't started. And so, you know, what tools can I use to get that conversation started? Well, one of the most powerful tools is what I call the saved messages tool. Okay. And let me just show my, I'm going to show my phone so that you guys can see this because this tool is critical. If you really want to deliver value because our brand is start convos, deliver value. And you know, we're starting conversations by creating amazing well, delivering amazing value through a very specifically targeted messenger ad, okay? And then to get the person to start a conversation, what we wanna do, you've delivered value from the ad, okay? You deliver the lead magnet, but sometimes that's not enough. So we always like to say that you really wanna give three deposits before asking, of any, asking anything. So in order to get there faster, what we suggest that you do is that you leverage the concept of delivering a lead magnet. So you've got to deliver as many lead, you got to create lead magnets first and foremost, if you don't have them. Secondly, um, the way to deliver it, the mechanism is very specifically, I'll use you JC here, is, is to use this Little so, so I'm just jumping in. Let me just let me just back up here. So what I'm doing is is I'm going into my Facebook page here, my Facebook page app, so I can manage my page. And now what I'm doing is is I'm going into my page, and I'm going into my messages, which is down here. And the you can with a little three little dots, and then I go to messages here. And then what I'm doing is is I'm going into one of these messages, and I'm going to pretend like I'm sending JC a saved message. Okay. So, well, I'm actually going to do it, but so in order, I'm pretending like JC and I, I want, like I'm bringing JC through what I call the conversation funnel. The only way to do that is to start a conversation and deliver value. Well, the conversation, I'm just going to imagine that this hadn't happened here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's imagine that JC is not not sent a message back to me. So in order to start the conversation, I'm going to go back to the deliver value component in order to get JC to, to want to start a conversation with me. So what's the quickest way to do that? There's two ways. One way to deliver value to somebody in messenger is to use this little button right here, which is the save messages button. Okay. And it's, and it's a really powerful button because what you can do is you can just proactively just send them content or whatever you want and, and an image. Okay. So I'm going to click on it and here's how you use it. So to create, here's all my saved messages. Look at this. Look at how long they can be. In other words, you can deliver huge value directly to the person without them doing anything else. You just deliver it to them. In other words, they don't have to type in, you know, lead magnet as a keyword in order to get this. You just shove it right into their, right, right into their messenger. And then, and you just give it to them. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. The second way is that you would have them type in a keyword like lead magnet. And that would get them the lead magnet worksheet and checklist. But in the absence of that, what are we doing? What are we going to do? We're going to give something of value to them. What did I do to you guys this weekend? I gave you some value. Okay. So here's all of my, here's all of my save replies. How do I create a new one? You just go right up here to the little pencil. Boom. You put in your title, you put in your message, you put in, in your message, your, your message is actually what the content, like what the value is. Okay. And you can even customize it. Okay. So that every single time that you send this message out to somebody, it literally is customized with their name. 
okay, like here it is, person's first name, you can put in their last name, you can put in their full name, you can put in all kinds of stuff in there, okay? So I'm gonna put in JC, that's their first name. And then I put in, here, and then I'm gonna put in anything else, here, hold on one second, whoops. Here, let me go back. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to JC, and then I'm gonna go back to creating. Okay, so here's test, and then I'm gonna put his first name in there again, comma, test. Okay, and then I wanna put, I wanna put, now you can either take, here, let me show you. You can either take images from your camera roll, or you can take an image, like a picture. So if you wanted to, you can take a picture of anything. So if you want to give away a lead magnet, take a picture of that lead magnet, like let them see it. So they see what they're going to get or whatever, whatever you're giving away. So I'm going to just put an image in here. Okay. So whatever, here's an image of us going to Julian this weekend. So that person's going to get this message and they're going to get this image. Okay. Pretty easy. So that's all you got to do. And then I save it. And then look at this. And then it's saved right here as a test, okay? So it's, it says it's gonna put that person's first name in there, comma, and then the word test, or whatever else that you want. But I've got all these other ones. So if I wanted to send, for example, JC, the live video challenge, because you haven't taken that yet, okay? So I'm gonna click on this one right here, and you see how it puts his name in there? Okay, and then it's got the image there. So I'm gonna send it. And then there's the image. To do the first, um, the, the first name, don't you just go to the little heart thing? Yep, that's what I did, that's what, exactly. That's what I was, I was showing you exactly. So, so that's it. And then, so what I want you guys to create is I want you guys to create more of these. You've gotta create these saved messages with value, maybe even your IDX safe searches, so that you can deliver the value that you want and maybe even like a, like a guide on a local area for each area. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. yes it okay. Is. So okay. And then. can have videos or anything that we might think about. Totally. You, you can put a link to a video. Exactly. You can put a link to a video in there and they can click on it and then they can watch the video. Now, okay. JC, if you would, just to, just to demonstrate the other way that you can deliver value, which is through keywords, please type in the word lead magnet in here. So go to your phone. So just go, go to this message. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to, I'm going to just show you guys that what JC is doing, or I'm just going to tell you is, is he is simply going to, there he goes. Okay. Now he just typed that in. I just got a notification. That's the other way, but that requires the person to do something. If you have not started a conversation yet, this is the reason why saved messages are so valuable because it doesn't require the person to do anything in order for you to deliver value to them. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so three times, I would give this kind of value a saved message, and I would also intermix there audio messages, video messages, and even, and I'm gonna show you, this is how you find that person's information. You go to the top there, you go to the little I, and then there's JC, I view his profile, and the, and the final way to really reach somebody is to go right here and send them a message personally. That's directly through Facebook, right? Oh, no. Well, it's true. No, it's through your personal profile. In other words, instead of me connecting from my page to your profile, I'm connecting from my personal profile to your personal profile. Got it. Okay. So it's a, it's, it, that's why, see, I'm using, I'm using this messenger instead of this. This is my pages profile, my pages messenger, and this is where I access my personal messenger, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Does that, does that make sense, guys? Does that help you? Yes. 
Okay, cool.